Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel this time with another little tips and tricks video for Ace Combat 7 this time for a trophy or achievement if you're playing on Xbox um, and it's the frequent flyer achievement well it's uh, the one let me check overview let's get right here I mean, if you are looking for this, you should probably know what uh, the trophy actually is. It's... You have to fly a total of 76,500 kilometers in campaign mode, which is quite a lot, and you actually have to play pretty long to get this achievement. But you can... I mean, it's actually one of the oldest tricks in the book, but let's uh, show this nonetheless. So you want to click free flight then you can choose yeah literally any mission I suggest using one without any clouds so there is not much vibration on the controller um, let's choose long day for example now I suggest using any fast aircraft for example the MiG 31B which is one of the fastest aircraft. Uh, the X02 is also pretty fast. And the YF23. But I think the MiG 31 is pretty much the fastest. So, what you want to do is equip it with all kinds of engine mods so you can really pump up uh, its acceleration and speed. Select the aircraft, weapon, it doesn't really matter. And sortie. Alright, now fly a bit towards the center of the map, you'll see why. And what's important for this trick to work is that you go to flight options, flight system and have the standard controls instead of the expert controls. Don't worry, you can switch back once you're done with this and enjoy flying as it's meant to be. So gain some altitude right here, then level off with the autopilot. And now what you need is <laughs> a little rubber band because, um, I mean, perhaps you've done this in other games as well, but you have the controller right here. Now what you want to do is take the little rubber band um, and put it around the stick jeez this controller is really old and I hope you can see that in the camera so um, you wanna basically have it like this so the stick is turned and as you can see the aircraft turns as well so this aircraft is now basically flying in circles for um, 30 minutes doing some nice distance in the meantime yes it does count I tested it don't worry you're not doing this for nothing now what you want to do is you want to also make sure that um, the thrust is at full power because the, fas the faster the aircraft of course the greater the distance will be now there are several ways to do this um, you can actually try to rubber band this as well but that's a bit hard um, because the rubber band often falls off or something it's, it's it's a bit more complicated you can tape it which also doesn't very work uh, which also doesn't work that well it does work but it doesn't work that well and <laughs> I still have some rests of the tape on my controller now I still gotta clean it up so what I'm doing is I take two heavy objects um, place my controller against one of them for example my little box right here then I take this glass press it against the trigger now I wait till the vibration has worn off so the controller doesn't move anymore then I let go and as you can see without putting any hands on this uh, the aircraft turns 
full afterburners, so it will do the greatest distance possible. Now you, could, you can just let it fly in circles for uh, around 30 minutes. You can do whatever you want, except for playing Ace Combat 7. So I suggest doing this when you are, um, I don't know, cleaning, doing your homework, whatever. Whenever you're not playing Ace Combat, or just switch to your PC, watch Netflix, whatever. You can just let this aircraft fly, check back in 30 minutes, click on restart, or if you want to play, play. But uh, this is actually a great way to cover some distances while you're not playing. So, um, because this trophy, it's, it's really tedious. And um, if I got this by just playing, I probably would not have the platinum trophy until, I don't know, next year or something. Well, not that, but next month. So, this is, this is really just a grindy trophy. So I think some tricks should be allowed to do this. If not, and you want to get it the right way, then do this by all means. But I don't really fly missions over and over again just to get that one stupid trophy. So um, yeah, this is all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. And see you later.